today we're gonna talk about uh, the TBS uh, 6004 DVBC 4 QIM PCI card, the modulator. Uh, basically, I'm gonna do a quick introduction uh, alongside with the uh, uh, driver installation and, uh, of course, uh, testing and setting up, especially with uh, Astra Sesbo uh, software. This video is dedicated uh, mostly for uh, small TV station, small TV operators that don't have the uh, financial uh, possibilities and power to buy uh, way more or too expensive uh, uh, devices and equipment. So the TBS6004 uh, DVBC 4 frequency, 4 QIM frequency uh, card is a modulator, yeah, working as a signal generator. It uh, it is uh, it's supposed to be fed with any DVB resource or any other uh, digital uh, signal. Then output uh, uh, to DVBC channels in four different fre frequencies. As you can see here in the picture. Uh, you have the, all the information. When you purchase this modulator, uh, the TBS team, technical team, will provide you some uh, web UI based software. But in the today video, uh, we're gonna use uh, the Sesbo Astra uh, software mostly because uh, due to the hard work of the programmers from Astra, they managed to uh, have it uh, this uh, DVB modulator supported in their software. Uh, thank you very much. I want to thank you very much to Andre and uh, to Dimitri for uh, this possibility, this huge opportunity and uh, making possible uh, to use uh, Astra Sesbo with uh, our uh, TBS modulator. In the small image right here, uh, I have set up a um, signal uh, detector and also it is a signal um, uh, measurement tool. It's a suckling signal um, uh, scanner, signal measurement and signal uh, uh, finder uh, uh, for satellite, for the cable, for uh, uh, optical fiber signal, all kinds of signals. So, first thing first, uh, what you need to do once you got the um, modulator, you have to physically install it in, into a machine with Linux. Yeah, you have to go to the sesbo.com and uh, first of all, uh, you need to install the drivers. The drivers, you're gonna find them. Uh, again, I have to thank you very much for, uh, for the generous support to um, uh, Astra Sesbo team. In the hardware and drivers area, you're gonna find uh, DVB cards uh, uh, drivers. So yeah, it's uh, plain and simple. You all you have to do is just to install the DVB drivers because once installed, it will install the drivers for the modulator as well. So as you may see here, there is a plain and simple command for uh, TBS driver installation. All you have to do is just to run in console this uh, syntax and the driver will self-install for any kind of DVB device from TBS you have inside your server. Plain and simple. If you want, you can if you wish, uh, you can uh, also install manually the drivers. But I highly advise for beginners and for uh, Linux uh, not friendly people to use the uh, main uh, syntax right here, this one. Okay, this is it. Once installed, you can check if your... Um, once installed the drivers, compiled and installed, you can check if your uh, modulator card is installed by uh, issuing this command in console ls slash dev slash tbs mode zero. See, and the reply back if the driver is correctly installed should be mode 0, mode 1, mode 2, mode 3. These are the nodes, the frequencies which uh, our modulator supports. If you're getting this uh, reply back, then obviously the DVB modulator is properly installed. Now, uh, the next thing is uh, installing the Astra software. Again, you have a very, very uh, easy uh, installation procedure. All you have to do is just go to the sesbo.com and uh, in the installation and quick start area, 
you can uh, run all the commands here and set up your Astra Sesbo. Uh, once everything is installed, of course, your Sesbo should uh, reply on uh, IP address and the port which you choose uh, for the web UI. Right now the service is stopped because it's already installed so I'm gonna start it with a simple command system ctl start astra it's started already the signal generator is receiving the signal yeah we're gonna do a reload and I'm gonna do a small description regarding the um, uh, how it's called regarding the how to set up the the whole stuff so uh, right now if we switch back a little bit we're gonna see that the channel is uh, it's set and it's working so to set up first we have to set up some source you can use IP source for input you can use uh, DVB source for input I have used some uh, uh, free to air channel from my cable operator to um, uh, feed the signal into the modulator. I use uh, some DVB card such as uh, 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 TBS uh, 6508, uh, the multi standard card. So I have created two test uh, frequencies 306 and uh, the other one is uh, 450. Once you created the, these two, uh, um, I was called uh, source inputs. Yeah, you have to scan them, map the channels. Once you have the channels scanned and mapped, you have to set up a little bit your uh, output for uh, for this um, uh, channels to match the uh, how it's called the um, modulator. How to do that is quite simple. You go to the new stream you set some name the id uh, will be automatically uh, be set up and in the input list you can uh, set up a specific uh, output which you set actually in in the channel itself so for example uh, if we take this channel which already is set the input list is the dvb tbs 6508 uh, with frequency uh, uh, four five uh, zero. Yeah, we set the program number PNR program number as input, and uh, of course as output we set the UDP uh, loopback host alongside with a specific port and the parameter of sync sync for synchronizing. Once uh, in the source channel you set up this. But basically, you manage to get your stream uh, uh, properly uh, inputted, properly outputted, uh, and prepared to send from the TBS DVB source card to the T TBS modulator. That's plain and simple. Once this is set, you have to do this for each channel. For each channel, you have to change the port, yeah, the output port because each channel will have different output ports as you can see here in the image in the image uh, once it's set all you have to do is create a new adapter no uh, i'm sorry excuse me uh, you have to create a new stream you give it a name uh, you have to uh, enable multi-program because you basically uh, you're gonna use on one frequency on one uh, modulator frequency multiple programs multiple channels yeah so uh, you will have here uh, to fill up some uh, informations I'm gonna open this one to see exactly so first you can give it a name which frequency you, you use the ID it's, when you create it it will be created automatically I use the country uh, identificator the Eastern Europe yeah UTC offset this is the timetable yeah network name I created the TBS network and the code page for uh, subtitles and uh, correctly interpret the APG and other things so as input list for the first frequency I selected four channels yeah for uh, uh, frequency 314 four channels and I have added uh, four different ports as you can see 3202 3204 and so on and i have added the pnr the program number from the source 
Uh, this program number uh, can be different because if you use IP input, you can add, of course, uh, your own program number. That's not a problem. Very important to know, you're gonna need to uh, set up uh, the modulator uh, frequencies uh, one after each other. I mean with multiplier of 8 MHz. Why? Because this is how the modulator works. I mean, you cannot set frequencies like 3, 1, 4 with uh, 5 and jumping the next frequency to five, uh, four, five, zero, for example. It's, it, it will not work. It's mandatory, necessary, each of the uh, uh, frequency multiplier to be 8 megahertz. So, 314, the next one will need to be uh, 322, for example. If we go there, here, we're gonna see uh, here, it's the next frequency is 322. The next one, the third one, is going to be 330. So the multiplier is uh, plus 8 megahertz all the time. Okay, once you created the new stream, yeah, you have to add uh, these informations except the ID and you have to add the input list and of course here, right below, you need to add the adapter. Yeah, the output list, I mean the output source. Where do you want to send the, the streams? And this is the TBS modulator, TBS 2. Point double slash uh, adapter 0 device 0. This is for one frequency. If you want to add on the second frequency, as you can see here on 322, is already device 1. It's not anymore device 0. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, for uh, frequency 3, it's device 3. For uh, frequency 4, is device 4. Bear in mind and don't forget uh, what I've told you. Don't try to set up with uh, multiplier higher than plus 8 between frequency because it will not work. Okay, this is all. Once set, it's quite simple. All you have to do is just apply. Yeah, and if you hit analyze, yeah, you're gonna see what's coming in and what's going out plain and simple it's very easy to use it is very very versatile and uh, plain and simple it's just that and as you can see on a small image i'm gonna show you on the small image on my right side of the screen you see the um, signal uh, receiver and the signal measurer measurement uh, tool I'm gonna go and uh, perform a uh, scan, for example. I already set to 322, and as you can see, we have power of the signal 94%. We have uh, uh, quality of the signal 83%, and uh, the MER and the CBER, it's 100% uh, and 48% is the CBER signal. Uh, it's the frequency is 32322, 2, 2. the symbol rate is 6896, the QIM is set to 64 QIM. Uh, just plain and simple, we're gonna hit, they are already scanned, but I'm gonna show you, just hit one more time, scan, and it's gonna scan them and already get got them there. We're gonna go, and they already opening. We're gonna go uh, for um, how it's called for uh, the next frequency, which is uh, uh, 314. Okay, this is the one. It's already set. It's working with Astra Sesbo. As you can see, we have power, we have signal, and we are just gonna hit a uh, scan right here. It's gonna scan our channels and uh, it's gonna set them up. See right there. And we can, of course, uh, uh, how it's called, um, swap between uh, and uh, uh, yeah, swap between channels, plain and simple. And that's it. It's very easy. It's not difficult. You can also see some uh, informations if you want about the quality, yeah, and uh, the reception. Uh, well, uh, my. Uh, uh, reception tool isn't uh, updated sadly this Satlink uh, device isn't up, up to date so uh, 
the display of the quality signal uh, it's only 42 43 percent but uh, that's a glitch from uh, the firmware of the of this uh, uh, satellite finder cable analyzer or what how how it's called this is all pretty much uh, enjoy your video if you like uh, my video please hit the like subscribe uh, and uh, if you have any other questions feel free to ask them I'm gonna gladly uh, reply and answer to your uh, questions thank you very much bye bye see you on my next video